There have been two major events unsolved that have bothered the American psyche for all these years. One, the Kennedy assassination. The other, the Tupac assassination. Tonight, I will lay it all out for you, okay? Now, the information we have is that Tupac Shakur was in a car <laughs> driven by Suge Knight. A second car pulled up next to them and fired 13 shots, four hitting Tupac, one hitting Suge. Uh, let's look at what happened that night or what the Vegas police would have you believe happened. Notice the angle at which the bullets entered Tupac. The first one hit his right hand, then one in the right hip, the right thigh, the bullet that killed him, the right chest near the armpit. Funny, isn't it? It was clearly a setup, a coup d'etat, shooting fish in a barrel. Now this is where it gets more complicated. The car is moving down Las Vegas Boulevard. You've got Sheena Easton co-headlining at the Riv with Messina from Lagos and Messina. She had beef with Tupac because one time he accidentally said to her, I love your music, Miss Benatar. <laughs> then, over at the Trop, you've got Danny Gans, the master of voices. He didn't like Tupac because the Death Row crew once started a ruckus at the end of his show and spoiled his big closer, where he does Al Pacino and Louis Armstrong getting Jimmy Stewart stoned. <laughs> very funny. Now they look, they make a left. Right before the gunman pulls up, what the police don't want you to know is that Siegfried and Roy had just had a nasty fight over a Guatemalan busboy from the $1.99 buffet. Siegfried chased him down out of Caesars with an angry tiger that Roy had gotten fired for irritable bowel syndrome in 98. Apparently the tiger was scraping his butt across the floor when Roy would be trying to do the fire hoop. Well, let's look at the witnesses in Vegas that night. You got the fat lady from Wisconsin standing in front of Circus Circus, wearing acid wash jeans and a Camp Beverly Hills sweatshirt. 97, you know. Two Tulsa salesmen, salesmen in a rented Sebring fighting with a Rastafarian in front of the Luxor. Typical Vegas night, so I guess we'll never know what happened that night. We'll never solve Tupac's murder, and the Guatemalan busboy will never find out how he woke up that morning in Caesar's Fountain wearing a Tony the Tiger mask, <laughs> naked, tied up with a silver lame German blood sausage stuffed up his butt, and a, a tattoo on the small of his back that said Deutschland Oberalis. But I guess it's true what the commercial says about Vegas. What happens there stays there. Or as that Guatemalan busboy would say, it's great. Yeah.